the vice president. I feel like I say this every week, but this week was bad. <laughs> I'm beginning to regret my wish to become a real boy. <laughs> I, I toss and turn in my shoebox all night, wondering what's the FBI going to do next? <laughs> I know, I know. We're in a real pickle here, Jeff. And you know how uncomfortable I am around pickles. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe they raided Michael Cohen's office. What, what are we going to do, Mike? Well, the important thing is to stay calm. In a couple months, the president will be back to normal. How's that? Because it'll be me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Oh. Excuse me, Mr. Sessions. Oh, no. Are they here for us? I will go peacefully. <laughs> no, it's not the police. The president's lawyer, Michael Cohen, is here to see you. Oh, finally. Yes, by all means, uh, send him in. attorney at law and also sometimes not at law Mr. Cohen, this situation is out of hand I know can you believe what they're doing to poor Mr. Trump it's a disgrace this whole raid was a complete violation of attorney criminal privilege well if you have nothing to hide then you have nothing to worry about is that a joke <laughs> look we got a real problem here Jeff you know how much evidence I have in my office I'm Donald Trump's lawyer. I got a whole hard drive that's just labeled yikes. I see, some of these allegations against you are quite disturbing, Mr. Cohen. Like how you paid $1.6 million for a top Republican's mistress to have an abortion. Yeah, $1.6 million for an abortion. Thank you, Obamacare. <laughs> this is all your fault, Jeff. You shouldn't have recused yourself. You should have protected Mr. Trump. He's a fragile flower. And he also happens to be the smartest, kindest, sexiest, least colluding man on this planet, which I call Earth. OK, so he's just a full dum-dum now. Mm, yeah. uh, so, Michael, the reason we brought you here today is that there's someone who would like to speak with you. Oh, great. Who? Mm, don't worry about it. He's down the hall waiting for you. And remember, whatever happens, you have our full support, OK? So right this way, thank you so much. Thank you for coming in. I cannot wait to see that little dummy burn. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is this place? Looking for something, Mr. Cohen? Robert Mueller? Why don't you have a seat, Mr. Cohen? <clears throat> Here, put these on. <clears throat> have you ever used a lie detector before? I feel like I have. Great. Look, I want you to know I will gladly go to jail to protect Mr. President Trump. Just relax, Mr. Cohen. If you're innocent, you have nothing to worry about. I'll start with some easy ones. How'd you like that pee, -pee tape? <laughs> what? I'm kidding. Relax. We'll get to that later. Is your name Michael Cohen? Yes. And you're a lawyer? Ish. <laughs> Did you have... Did you make a payment of $130,000 to Stormy Daniels? Yes. And did President Trump know about it? No. <laughs> I think you're lying. I, I, it, was, yeah, it was supposed to be a surprise for Stormy, like a gift. A gift? Yeah, a gift. Like a rock you throw through a window with a note tied to it that says, stop talking. So you threaten people. Directly, no. But let's just say I've cut a lot of letters out of a lot of magazines. <laughs> I was just trying to milk some information out of people. So what? Did you say milk? Yeah, 
Yeah, like with a cow or a goat or a cat. I mean, you can milk anything with nipples. Really? I have nipples. Can you milk me, Mr. Cohen? Look, Mr. Mueller, this entire Russia investigation is a witch hunt, and your whole team is president's prejudice against the president. Not true. In fact, we use code names so personal feelings never come into it. Oh, yeah, what's, what's President Trump's code name? It used to be Putin's little bitch. <laughs> now it's Stormy's little bitch. What about Ivanka's code name? Girlfriend. <laughs> Jared Kushner? Other girlfriend. <laughs> Don Jr. and Eric? Two Fredos. What about my code name? Dead Man Walking. Look, I don't have to take this from you. I have rights. Now, you listen to me, you little weasel. I don't know what rights you think you have. You broke the law. And now we're going to catch all of you little fuckers. You got that? <laughs> I'll tell you this. Live I from New York, it's Saturday. Saturday.